T-minus 15 seconds and counting. T-minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, lift off. Pitching down range. M1D chamber pressure is nominal. Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 39A at Kennedy Space Center, carrying our 111 payload. Now, during ascent, we will tilt the engines, technically called gimbling, and that'll turn the rocket horizontally slightly in what we call a gravity turn. Nominal power and telemetry. So we're still going up, but we're also going horizontally away from the launch pad. You can see a beautiful sunset view of that ascent of Falcon Vehicle 9. Vehicle supersonic. Now, we, in just a couple moments, we will be throttling the engines down in preparation for max Q, or the maximum aerodynamic pressure. Max Q. We just passed through that moment. Now the first stage, or any rocket, typically needs about to go to go about 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth and actually make it into orbit. So you can keep an eye on that stage one telemetry on that bottom left-hand side of your screen. Looks like we're going about 2,500 miles per hour right now and increasing rapidly. In a little under a minute here, we will have five events coming up in quick succession. So it'll start with main engine cutoff of the first stage, followed by stage separation, a stage one flip as it prepares to do the boost back burn, it, second engine startup one, where the second stage and back engine will ignite, and then the start of that first stage boost back burn. Beautiful views from that camera tracking the Falcon 9. Now we're coming up for main engine cutoff in just a few seconds. And watch out for those five events. Eco. Stage separation confirmed. And back in mission. Wow, what an incredible view. <laughs> there you heard and you see in these incredible views from Falcon 9 first and second stages, that main engine cutoff, stage separation, the first stage flip, second engine startup and that boost back burn where the plumes from that first and second stage were creating that beautiful light show in the sky. Now that first stage boost back burn is in progress, but it'll end here in just under 10 seconds. Stage one boost back shut down. That was the end of the stage one boost back burn. And here coming up shortly, we should have fairing deployment from our second stage. Fairing separation confirmed. There's fairing separation. You can see those at that attitude Both control system. Trajectories. The attitude control system on that first stage, creating those beautiful plumes in the sky on those views from your left. Now we did have a confirmation of a good fairing separation for both of our fairing halves. And this is the fifth and sixth flight of those fairing halves today. And we will be attempting to retrieve them once more when they fall back down to earth using our recovery ship, Doug. Now here at T plus four minutes and 20 seconds into today's mission, we are in the first of two planned MVAC burns ahead of satellite deployment. At T plus six minutes and four seconds, you should see the first stage's entry burn. And we're currently watching some beautiful light show performances from the first stage as it is making its way back down to Earth. 
with those plumes coming from our attitude control system, which is nitrogen cold gas thrusters near the top of the first stage. Now for the entry burn coming up in about a minute, we will relight three of our nine M1D engines. So it'll start with the center engine, followed shortly by the uh, E1 and E5 engines. First stage really putting on a beautiful, incredible show there. Now we do that entry burn of the first stage to slow the vehicle down and help reduce re-entry forces to help us recover and reuse that first stage. First stage and second stage continue to look healthy. We are about 30 seconds away from the start of our entry burn on the first stage. And this will be about a 20 second burn of three of our M1D engines to slow that- Stage two following novel trajectory to slow that first stage down as it re-enters the thicker parts of the Earth's atmosphere. Hopefully we'll get some really beautiful views from the first stage there on the left. Stage one entry burn start up. There is the start of our first stage entry burn, as you can see. And you can see that first stage flying through that entry burn plume, which deposits that soot on the first stage. Stage one entry burn shut down. Did to get that call out for a good entry stage burn. Stage one safe. Stage two continues to be on a nominal trajectory. We are getting some spotty camera connectivity, but everything is looking good from stage two telemetry. You can see the first stage is coming down back towards landing zone one, and we will start our landing burn of that first stage in just about 10 seconds here. You can see the Cape Canaveral coast on your screen stage on the two, right. There is that start of our first stage landing burn. Stage one landing burn. Really incredible views from the first stage. Stage one landing lake deploy. from that beautiful video from stage two is the top guidance. From the first stage, we did have a successful landing of the first stage, first stage booster back on landing zone one. And this landing marks the 145th recovery of a Falcon 9 first stage. Now in just a few seconds here, we will have second engine cut off one of the second stage. We are getting a little bit of some spotty video connections, but you did see the second stage briefly there in the midst of that first burn. We should have Seco one here shortly. And back shut down. There is that second engine cutoff or MVAC shut down one. Again, we've had confirmation of nine of 13 successful deployments of the second set of one web satellites. You can see a cool video live view from the second stage briefly here as we've managed to get some video here. WebSat D3 and D7 separation confirmed. You can see one of those one web satellites floating off there from the second stage. And that was confirmation of two additional satellites being successfully deployed here in the second set of deployments. And we are just waiting for two more in this set of 13 satellites. Again, this is- One web sat C2 and C6 separation confirmed. There you can see very cool views 
of that satellite popping off from the second stage. Again, that was our last two satellites of this set. As you may have been following along with the live views from the second stage, we have deployed all 40 of the satellites from the second stage today. And you may have been following along with those views, but those bright spots that you may have seen in the background were the other OneWeb satellites that have just been deployed.